Robinson presents a very difficult conceptual question. Do you think that someone who is a drug addict is absolutely incapable of that all people who are drug addicts are absolutely incapable of refraining from using drugs? Uh, well, uh, I think that for some that may be true, and for some perhaps they can abstain, but that's a question of free will and agency that's true of all, every law and what conduct we choose to uh, regulate. That's all right, then compare that with a person who absolutely has no place to sleep in a particular jurisdiction. Does that person have any alternative other than sleeping outside? So I think we'd have to ask all of the questions I mentioned earlier about what alternatives they might have had yesterday. No, they have, and they how have they none. Up. They have absolutely none. There's not a single place where they can sleep. If that's true, then that may be the case. And in that case, at least in Oregon, they would have a defense of necessity. So the point is that the connection between drug addiction and drug usage is more tenuous than the connection between absolute homelessness and sleeping outside. Well, I, I think in, in Robinson, again, the court did draw that line, but here the respondents are saying that the two are really the same, that camping outside, sleeping outside, and being homeless are two sides of the same coin. We think that that's wrong. It's collapsing the status that they claim into the conduct. So we think the conduct here is very clear because it applies generally to everyone. The law does not say on its face it is a crime to be homeless. I just right. want to make that right. Thank you. very clear. Thank you.